to be able to come back into places like Labrador City where it's a remote community and try and give something back to the communities that gave me so much, it's pretty special. Jeff Hunt has come home, and he's brought with him a piece of history. He is the first person from Newfoundland and Labrador to have his name engraved on the Grey Cup. I'm a proud Newfoundlander, and to have Newfoundland represented on the Grey Cup, uh, I think is terrific. Hunt is on a mission to promote the CFL in his home province. He's brought along Red Blacks receivers Greg Ellingson and Brad Sinopoli, who last November helped Ottawa win its first Grey Cup in 40 years. That journey began here, Labrador City, a community of 9,000 built around iron ore mining. It's where Jeff Hunt spent his high school years and where he had the chance encounter that would change his life. I've always had fond memories of my visits to Newfoundland Labrador. In the mid-1970s, Jerry Organ won two Grey Cups as a kicker with the CFL's Ottawa Rough Riders. In 1981, he was invited to visit Labrador City. He toured the iron ore mines and then addressed the students at Labrador City Collegiate. What was your message to the students? Do you remember? How to succeed sometimes in a profession that actually surprises you. I didn't expect to be a professional athlete. Organ had no way of knowing that in the audience that day was an impressionable 16-year-old student named Jeff Hunt. I didn't know anything about the CFL other than the Grey Cup. So it was, uh, it really made an impact on me and uh, I became an Ottawa Rough Rider fan that day. In 1983, Hunt and his family moved to Ottawa. Jeff became a successful businessman and purchased the Ottawa 67's junior hockey team. And he bought season tickets for the Rough Riders. But by the mid-1990s, CFL football in Ottawa was in big trouble. Plagued by a rundown stadium and poor ownership, the Rough Riders ceased operations in 1996. When an attempt to revive the franchise also failed, the CFL left Ottawa in 2006 seemingly for good. We kept thinking a group of guys are going to pull it off and, and get us back in there. We are red, black. That group of guys did emerge, led by Jeff Hunt. They secured a CFL franchise, called the team the Red Blacks, and gave old Lansdowne Park a much needed massive makeover. Jerry Organ had no idea of his part in the Ottawa CFL revival until he attended a Rough Rider alumni event at which Jeff Hunt was the guest speaker. He doesn't know I'm there and I don't know Jeff Hunt. And uh, so, you know, I, I made the speech and I didn't know where Jerry Organ was from, if he was even still alive, frankly. So he's saying that, you know, Jerry Organ inspired him to get involved in football. And then right afterwards, who comes up with this guy with a mustache and says, hi, I'm Jerry Organ. <laughs> and uh, we had quite a laugh. Knock down! Red Blacks win! In just their third season, the Red Blacks won Ottawa's first Grey Cup in four decades. I had my family and friends there, my kids in particular, and it's just, it's just sheer joy. Members may have noticed the Grey Cup is actually behind the door of the Speaker's Gallery. Now, Jeff Hunt has brought the cup home. There's an invitation to the provincial legislature. There are visits to schools. And there are fundraisers. Merchandise donated by the Red Blacks is sold to support the Provincial Football Association which has only been in existence for three years. So far, 175 players have signed up. CFL on three, one, two, three. CFL! Football has never been played here in any organized manner, so there's a lot of work to be done. If you can look anywhere in the province, there isn't football goalposts here. There isn't even a football field. What do you think of having a proud Newfoundlander, Jeff Hunt, what do you think of having him here? It was fantastic. And if my players can get that, you live in Newfoundland, there's opportunities to grow and fulfill your dreams. When Riley Burke 
becomes the first player from the new provincial association to be signed by a Canadian university, Jeff Hunt witnesses the agreement. It's all part of his plan to nurture the growth of football in his home province. The point was I was inspired. I got interested in, in the Canadian Football League. Which brings us back to where it all began, to Labrador City and a special reunion. Please welcome the legendary Jerry Organ. Jerry Organ has come in from Ottawa as Jeff's guest to speak at a high school assembly, much like the one in 1981. Obviously, it impacted Jeff, but it was Jeff's moment to be inspired with the possibility of being involved someday, perhaps, in the Ottawa football team. Later, there's a visit to Labrador City Collegiate, where Hunt heard Organ speak 36 years ago. To you, sir. Thank you. Good, sir. The building is being converted into a condo, and the gymnasium is a construction zone. Here we go, Jerry. This is the scene of the crime. But it still holds memories. Memories of that day when a visiting football star inspired Jeff Hunt's CFL journey. It's amazing. This was the place where it was all birthed in one man's mind. It's fantastic. With everything coming full circle, you ever pinch yourself and say, you know what? Maybe this was meant to be. There's absolutely no doubt I wouldn't be doing this if Jerry Organ hadn't have come to our school in 1981. There is still a long way to go, but Jeff Hunt hopes that his visit back home will help convince a new generation that anything is possible. Someone said to me today, you know, talking about all the kids that we saw, this is something they'll probably always remember. And I said, well, I don't have to imagine that because I was that kid and I still remember it. I hope that it inspires them to think, why couldn't they play in the CFL? Why couldn't they own a CFL team one day? <laughs>